Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I actually had a comment come through, or it was actually a message on Patreon uh, of a member, and they were wanting to know how to get started getting invested in the best uh, investments and the best stocks and the best ETFs and the best ways to make a lot of money relatively quickly based on the news, based on the headlines, the videos that they've been seeing uh, on YouTube, not particularly my channel, but on others that are making projections uh, about the economy, the future of the economy, uh, the future of the stock market, cryptocurrency markets, other investments, and ways to make money on the way down. And folks, uh, this applies to not only stocks, crypto, real estate, investing, uh, a lot of investing questions being asked, investing for beginners, uh, stock trading for beginners, investing for beginners. Folks, I've got links in the description. If you haven't already, get your free stocks. That's, that's, that's an easy way to get started investing with uh, relatively no low overhead in getting involved because it just takes a few minutes of time versus money, okay? And all stocks have the ability to increase in value. So if someone's going to give me free stocks, they're literally offering me free money. I'm going to take it. Links down in the description, as well as uh, other links, particularly for Hard Assets Alliance, which is another way that I diversify my portfolio and am able to produce uh, and part of my multiple streams of income and passive income streams, but also ways of protecting my assets, investing in hard assets, precious metals, gold, and uh, using this as a hedge against inflation, especially as we're uh, heading into this recession. But folks, um, ironically, this, the same questions being asked about investing in stocks and making money in stocks which are the best stocks to buy, uh, which stocks are gonna uh, produce the greatest returns, the most uh, increase uh, penny stocks or lower priced inexpensive stocks to buy, which we need to talk about fraction, uh, fractional share purchases, which allows you to get involved in higher price stocks at almost any price point because you're able to purchase fractional shares. Uh, additionally, uh, just these lower price options that can see potentially huge upsides for investors, but the key is you got to be invested to have an opportunity of, of 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 seeing these returns. In addition to dividend stocks and ways that you can receive passive income uh, just by being a shareholder and being paid a dividend on a regular regular basis, which is great, especially in a time where markets are fluctuating, and you're not necessarily looking to cash out and you know uh and and engage in like day trading uh options trading but you you want to buy and hold and invest for the long term and as these stock values stock prices fluctuate you're still earning uh passive income on a regular basis being deposited into your accounts that could then be reinvested through dollar cost averaging techniques and then having opportunities to buy more of these shares at lower prices and continuously uh, reusing this trend to further drive up your portfolio, your net worth, and how much uh, you'll see in the form of dividends being shared. But it's not just with stocks. It's not just with uh, ETS. It's not just with uh, these exchange traded funds. And uh, there's a variety of other ways that you know we can use these to our advantage to build wealth and you know put ourselves in a situation that is more indicative of success uh, at a time where economists and you know large Wall Street Bank CEOs like uh, Brian Moynihan and Bank of America warning Americans warning everyone really all around the world about the possible dangers that we are approaching and facing uh, by way of the Fed and higher interest rates and consumer spending and inflation and a recession. Uh, it, now is a good time, if is any, to uh, position yourself for a um, 
sustainable future <laughs> and not necessarily seeing yourself wiped out by the the ill effects of the economy that are oftentimes beyond your control but what is within your control is is what you do and how you act how you engage and the actions that you take and i will guarantee you that for those who sit by on the sidelines odds are they have a greater possible chance of losing because of how inflation chips away at your savings and eats away at the purchasing power of all the money that you have that you're working to earn or may potentially have in the future versus those who engage in investment opportunities, sound investment opportunities, uh, wealth building strategies. None of this get rich quick nonsense, but you know, solid foundational basic principles of smart investing. There's a difference. And ironically, the question gets asked almost synonymously hand in hand with my other main, you know, driving factor, driving force here, which is content creation, which is YouTube. Now granted, you know, TikTok is another opportunity, Instagram is another opportunity, but I I, I gravitate towards YouTube. I use YouTube a lot. And um, they, they're they both literally the same because I've had people comment on previous videos that I've created on this channel about YouTube and some of the changes that are happening with YouTube, uh, the CEO stepping down, being replaced, some of the uh, channels being negatively impacted by the algorithm, changes to the policy guidelines, and just seeing dips in viewership, subscriber counts going down, views going down, and ultimately revenues going down. So when I answer this question, I want you guys to realize that they're really both the same answer. And it comes down to a very, very basic, easy principle, okay, that I want you guys to to understand. And it's uh, what's called time timing the market, okay? So oftentimes I get asked, uh, about investing in ways to make a lot of money by timing the market what stock should i buy um you know what meme stock is the best stock to get into to make a lot of money um you know how quickly can i make money in the stock market especially for those who don't have a lot of money to invest so they don't have a lot of money to invest we're gonna go check out the beach because i was told today that the uh, waves are pretty gnarly. So I wanted, I wanted to go see what they look like today. So y'all gonna come with me and check this out. But, um, you know, what's, what stocks? What are the best stocks to get into, especially when you don't have a lot of money? Which I've made a video that you guys can go check out, which is, I think it's titled, How to, How to Invest When You Don't Have Any Money. I think that's the name of the video. And also another video which was titled, How to Make $350 a Day. And it uses, once you understand how this works, which is, look at all these people. Not the greatest day to be in the water. Hopefully nobody's in the water, it's probably pretty cold. Uh, I don't see any flags. I'd be willing to bet that we got a red flag day. And uh, just the other day we had a red flag day in, uh, Oh man, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's a red flag. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think it's a red flag down there. Yeah, but we had a red flag day and we actually, there was a, somebody drowned, unfortunately. To, uh, there was a, a rip current and the lifeguard, by the time they got to him, it was too late. But yeah, so time, uh, timing, uh, time in the market, folks. It, it, it pretty much boils down to the same basic principles no matter what in my opinion when we look at investing in stocks and or investing in yourself creating content creating youtube videos uh which can be a great way to generate income to then have to invest in other investment vehicles like stocks like real estate like crypto like some NFTs. And what it comes down to is time the market. And what I don't ever want to do is time the market. And what I prefer to do is have time in the market. 
And this comes down to what I just told you, which is the people who procrastinate and choose not to take action and sit by on the sidelines will more than likely see a large portion of whatever wealth they potentially may have uh, swallowed up and, uh, and, dra and drained and lost by way of procrastinating and not, and not taking action as you literally just sit by. Because if you think about it, think about if you had like, um, if you had, let's just say you had $10,000. Let's just say you had, let's just say you had, a, let's just say you had, let's just say you had $30,000. $30,000 10 years ago. If you had $30,000 10 years ago, odds are, you probably could have bought yourself a nice new car, paid cash. However, $30,000 today in 2023 doesn't hold the same value. And the, and, and the comparison I'm trying to make, look at these guys roofing. Their roof and they ain't even tied off. They got the harness on, but they ain't even tied off. The point I'm trying to make is that if you don't take action and you just sit by, that $30,000 that you had 10 years ago would be $30,000 literally today, maybe slightly more because of some interest accrued on a savings account. So maybe $31,000, $32,000, maybe $33,000, but it doesn't have the same purchasing power. Therefore, if you would have invested that $30,000 and achieved a modest return on investment, what you could have seen is you've taken that $30,000 and in 10 years time, it's now worth $45,000, $50,000, maybe even more, depending on some of the investment choices you've made. And 10 years later, it has at least kept up and or exceeded the rate of inflation. So it still is putting you in a position to be able to buy that brand new car paying cash. So the only way to accomplish that goal and, and, to, and to have that benefit is by having time in the market and not trying to time the market. Because what will happen is for the folks out there trying to time the market, they can see that $30,000 turn into $300,000 in one day, or they could also see that $30,000 turn into zero in one day. I know a lot of people probably know some folks firsthand that have made some uh, poor investment decisions without having proper knowledge and education and also being very impatient and in a hurry and in a rush to try to get rich quick. Look at this. I think that's a little toy. <laughs> that was a real fish. But when they do that, they make bad choices, bad decisions. Oftentimes they get scammed in uh, investments that people know they're pumping just to dump after they get your money in it. That's a little sand castle. And uh, that's how you can lose money by trying to time the market. If you listen to these Reddit forums and these subreddits and you know, a friend of a friend or your brother's cousin or whatever, something like that. And that's how you lose money by trying to time the market. I'm not saying it can't be done, but me personally, I much rather, I prefer to have time in the market instead of timing the market with my investments. And so that's basically it. Whether it's stocks, whether it's crypto, whether it's real estate, and or even if it's creating content and building a YouTube channel, the more time you have in the market, the better your odds are at seeing some impressive returns on your investments, particularly being something like Moomoo, investing your time to get free stocks. Plain and simple, easy as that. But with YouTube, again, investing your time to create content, post videos that you can earn money from 
through YouTube or a variety of other monetized, uh, monetization tools and opportunities that I share with you guys on that uh, other video. So just putting it out there. Um, funny, funny how this came up after uh, Justin and I, we were, we were, we were taste testing some, uh, some, some beef jerky, some spicy beef jerky that I picked up. <laughs> I'll show you guys in just a minute. And then we got on the topic of creating content because he's growing his channel. And uh, uh, we were talking about Squirrel Tribe and her channel pop here recently as she just crossed over the 100,000 subscriber mark. Congratulations. And also other ways of producing revenue, income, profit, seeing returns on investments, especially now with the way that the economy is going, business is going, people's money is going, their savings, their credit, higher prices, inflation, the recession, and people have to be versatile. They have to be diverse. Remember, my three pillars, diversity, security, and cash flow. You gotta have those in order to have a chance at surviving what all we are being hit with right now that's only gonna get worse and probably for the next three, four, maybe five years. Because what'll happen is once things get really, really bad, that's when, once things get bad, bad, like real bad, you're probably gonna have a two or three year window after that great collapse, after that fall, after that crash, after everybody gets wiped out, before you see a rebound and a recovery. So again, during these periods, I'm gonna have time in the market. I'm not gonna try to time the market. I wanna have time in the market. Look at these. Clouds are pretty gnarly. I don't know if you guys can tell how windy it is out here. Uh, but I think we got some storms coming. That's what I heard on the radio. But I just wanna share that information with you guys. And I will show you guys a little taste test we did with the, uh, the beef jerky. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get the one that the guy said would literally burn your face off. But uh, if you guys got any more questions, you want to know any more about it, please feel free, hit me up, let me know, drop a comment down below, check out the links in the description. I got a bunch of free links down there, ways to contact me as well as getting your free stocks and diversifying your investments and diversifying your portfolio. I know I'm continuously diversifying every single day and continuously looking for more opportunities that I will be sharing with everybody here on the channel, in the network, on Patreon and, uh, helping you guys as much as I can, as much as possible. Until next time, you all take care, be safe. See ya, bye. Uh, what, what we got is, you can go ahead and open it. Let's go ahead and see what all we right. got in here. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. And this is from Beef Jerky. I guess that's just the name of the store. Ooh, Beef Jerky Variety Box. Yeah, I, I, I had decision uh, analysis paralysis, so I said, just give me a little bit of everything. But what we got here Ooh. is the- Reaper. It's hot. He said it's hot, but edible. That's good. You know? That's good. And he said this is the dry dryer, and then this one is, I guess, like more of the normal. So we got to try these out. Yes, sir. Let's do it. All the way out of the gate, or are you going to go middle and then step it up? I mean... Get my drink, so... I guess I should have brought a drink. <laughs> Ooh, uh, uh, there's vending machines across the street. I got some... I might have a water. Hang on. Is that, is that a lot? 
Are we talking? Is it not, push it go up to? Yeah, because yeah, I mean, if it's 9 out of 100, I don't mind. But if it's 9 out of 10, we may have trouble. There you are, sir. I, I don't think I've ever had you. I don't, I don't know that I... It's got the little... It's got the little... Um, like red pepper flakes? Yeah, it's got the flake, uh, the seeds on. Cheers. Flavor's good. It's not just hot for the sake of hot. It's tasty. No. It's tasty. Kind of a little saltiness to it. I like that. That's tasty. Mm hmm. Heat kind of comes on late too. It's not like burn you up right out of the gate. He had one that he said would burn your face off. It's a hard pass. It comes in a bag like this, but there's like these little nuggets, like because you're not you don't need a whole bag. I just want to know who, like how much of that can he sell? Who wants to buy beef jerky that's like, hey, eat that? It's gonna melt your face off. I bet you he sells more than you think. You're probably right. It's like that one chip challenge thing where they have, yeah. He said it's way higher than the one chip. You ever done that? Mm -mm. It's tough. As a guy who likes hot food, the one chip challenge. Have you tried it? Tough. Yeah. It's tough, man. I bet you sell a lot as a novelty, but nobody ever really does it. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that because it'll be hot all the way. If you're not getting just hot right here, you're getting. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you know that. Look. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I don't know that I would call it fire because it's not like. The engine, but it's got that good little warm at the end. It's misleading. Because if this is the hottest off the shelf, you would think, oh, I can eat the one that burns your face off. Yep. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Not getting it. Next. Yeah. The Reaper Smoked Beef. Here, I wish you got left over the We got Reaper Smoked Beef. I guess the sword is called beef. Oh, beef jerky experience. The experience. See it, taste it, share it, it says. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going much smaller on this one. I'm starting with a small piece. I'm not going to. Yeah, yeah, got to go. Get that smell real quick. It smells spicy. Super doable. That guy, his bark is working his bite. Yeah. <clears throat> that's just your length, though. That buildup. No. That's where you feel it. You'll feel it back here more so than as you chew it. No. Yeah, kind of caught me like right in the, right in the, on its way. Yeah. On the swallow. Yeah, yeah. But it's good. I think it's good because, no, now there it is. Pick it up. Pick yeah, it, up. it comes on late. Yeah. But it makes you want to go back and get more. Yeah. Not. Get yeah, this. exactly. Not so stinking hot that you have no interest in ever eating it again. All right, this one's picking up. This one's picking up. I don't know if you can feel it, but it's picking up. Sides of my tongue are kind of It's picking up now. Yeah. Okay, I, I spoke too soon. It's starting to, starting to build. <laughs> not, not unreasonably so, though. You know, not so stinking no, no, hot that no. I wouldn't eat it again. But definitely hotter than your first taste. Yeah, right out of the gate, you're kind of like, meh, okay. It creeps up on you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's a, there's definitely a tangle now. Slow build. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I think I like the fire one more, though. Purely based, not necessarily on heat, but purely based on flavor, because it kind of has that salty Worcestershire soy sauce sort of I like the arena. texture of this. Yeah. Being more moist, yeah. but this one, this one is all oh, yeah. yeah, good flavor. Yeah, hit that one again. Yeah, not bad at all. Good thing I skipped lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 